a woman picks up. Hi, I'm Alec Gillan. Is Trina it's, down it's Trina, there? It's Trina, Trina down there. Trina down there. Hi, my name's Alex Gillan. This is Trina she. Down there. This is she. Okay. My name's Alex Gillan. I'm... Looking for my birth mother. Looking for my birth mother. That's it? I don't know. I would say... I, would I feel like there's something to, like, kind of lead into it. My parents visited to oh, talk about my adoption and the search. Hello! How are you? They brought my hospital bracelet that has everything I know about my birth mother. Just her name, Trina Dunn. I had to make sure that we were all ready to do this. Quite honestly, most of the time I think I gave birth to you. I never felt, I never even think about it. I think it's a wonderful thing and I'm glad we were able to do it because I think that anyone can give birth to a child, but not everyone can adopt. And you come from our heart. <laughs> How do you feel about me wanting to find my birth mom? I always thought that you probably would. Uh, you're a naturally curious person, and I think it's something that sh when you were ready to embark on this part of your journey, you would go ahead and do it. I thought for a while there you were a little lazy and you wouldn't bother, but I always kind of thought that you would probably do this. And I think your natural curiosity, also as far as medical, uh, part of your medical history is concerned, we, you know, as much as we don't know about our own background, which many people don't anyway, I know that you feel even more so that you don't know. And I can definitely understand your curiosity and you're wanting to find out. There's always a little section that says, you know, I don't really know about this. And I think I'm comfortable with it. I hope I'm comfortable with it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I talked to Nathan, another adopted boy in Madison. After I graduated, uh, I get an email and it's like, hi, um, I found this thing on the internet. I Googled your name and I think you're my son. <laughs> and so she sent me a birthday card with pictures um, of her um, and her recent wedding. And inside she writes, Dear Nathan, here's to hoping you have the best 18th. Enjoy your time in Colorado. I look forward to getting to know you more. Love, Michelle. When I did talk, to, when I did email my mom, she, like I wanted to talk on the phone or something and she, she was too scared to even do that. She felt like, you know, she she wanted to take it really slow. That makes me nervous. But I did a search and basically found six possible phone numbers. Okay. Do you know if it's one of them for sure or? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be one of them. Okay. And if it's not, it's not. And if it is, I don't know. <laughs> so do you have any advice? I guess it'd be very important to um, not be hurt if they're not ready to talk to you. Mm -hmm. um, be careful with yourself. You know, like not. Don't don't feel like they're gonna jump into it like you might want to if you've because they might be at some certain point in their life where they can't handle it. They might be, um, you know, it's possible that they married someone later on and never told them, mm. or you know, it's, it's crazy things like that, and you could end up really doing damage to them. But th that doesn't seem too likely. And now back to the beginning, the studio, so I can record the phone calls I'm about to make. Okay, so I know it's a heavy topic, I don't want to freak you out, and if it's something you don't want to talk about, that's okay. I completely understand. I completely understand, but I'm looking for my birth mom, and I think you may be right. Okay, well, let's get to We're it. We're here for you either way. Thanks, guys. We're more than your camera. Aww. Please enter the telephone number you wish to dial now. You have $9.76 remaining.
you have nine dollars seventy six cents remaining. I never want you to think that this is a disappointment to you. I also know that you know that it may not happen, and and that's the other reason I want want you to be disappointed. Not only for whom it is, but for finding out. But if you do, and I think you have a good head on your shoulders, I think that you'll take it for what it's worth. I'll try the last one again. That does rang. But if you don't, I also know that you'll be okay. That I think that you know that you'll be okay with this. I certainly hope so. Two minutes remaining for this call. Hello? Hi, is Trina there? Yes, who's calling? Uh, this is Alex Galen. I'm sorry, who? Alex Galon. Is this Trina? Yes. Um, I know this is a heavy subject and I don't want to freak you out or anything and if you don't want to talk about it, that's totally fine. But, um, I just wanted to... Basically, I'm looking for my birth mother and I think it may be you. I just want to say thank you. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just, uh... I'm just a little shocked right now. <laughs> Your name is Alex? Galon. Galon? Mm-hmm. And where did you get my information? Um, well, I did a Google search, and I found information from you there. And I actually got a couple numbers, and I tried a couple just now, and uh, this one worked. So. When were you born? Uh, December 1st, in 1985. I almost feel like this is a joke. We, um, my, your grandmother actually went through a place and was looking for you also. We were looking for you, and they were having a hard time. Really? I thought that would be really easy to find, actually. Oh, my God. I'm just in shock right now. How, how long have <laughs> you been looking for me? Um, well, I, legally, I wasn't allowed to do anything until I was 18, but uh, kind of once when I turned 18, college picked up and it sort of got, you know, pushed to the side. But uh, I felt like now is the time to do so. So I'm 21 now, so it's, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm actually married to your dad. Oh, really? And we're about to have a baby. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, and... and the only reason why we did give you up is because I was so young. Right. I Yeah, I know. I never yeah. thought that it was any, like, you know, uh, I never yeah, thought I mean, that it was like, like I was I was wrong or anything like that. It, yeah, I just, I knew the situation that you were too young, so. They, they told you, your parents? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they knew, uh, like, a very limited amount. Um, I guess they knew that you were young. They knew that you kind of looked like uh, my adopted parents, so... Oh really? Yeah, I actually I actually look a lot like them, which is interesting. <laughs> but um What do you look like? What do I look like? Well I can send you pictures if um you wanna oh, yeah. get in touch through email or something. You is it okay if your dad gets on the line? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can't and I was just on the phone with your grandmother and, and someone was you were I guess you were beeping in and she's like, Well you get it, it may be a and I was like, well, you never know for telemarketers, and no name came up, and I was like, well, let me get it. Well, yeah, um, I, actually, I normally don't pick up if no name comes up, too, so I'm glad you did. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I actually, um, I wasn't going to call back because, um... Hello? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, that's your dad. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? I'm you doing well, name? how are you? He's Tommy Pendergast. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, I didn't know. Hi, Tommy. How you doing? <laughs> I'm Alex. <laughs> I'm doing well. How are you guys? Okay. Wow, that's this is weird. Yeah. Um, it's weird over here too. <laughs> it's amazing you found us and they couldn't find you and I've been so upset about that and um your your dad well your I'm sorry. Your Tommy. <laughs> no, that's that's <laughs> um, okay. Tommy's mom. 
uh, went through, as I said, an agency, and they were having trouble locating you because they didn't have, like, your your real name. And I don't know what the problem was, so it's just been, like, upsetting. And I always prayed for, like, God to help you find me if you if you chose to. Like, I didn't want to like interrupt your life in case you didn't want to meet us or and that's that's what I was really nervous about too you know I didn't know where you would be or what situation you'd be in at all or if you know this was something you wanted to even do so I was just yeah, very it's nervous very, calling it's a, it's a very strange situation and considering we're still together I was married I I <laughs> have to our first, first well, our second child oh wow together yeah, this is, you know, well, you were off you're first. Our first <laughs> okay. and we're now having our our second child. So this is your <laughs> yeah, this is my <laughs> brother or sister that I'm about to have. Wow, how like how many months into, into it are you? Excuse me? How many months into the pregnancy are you? I'm nine months. I'm 38 weeks, so I'm nine months. I'm actually doing two due, weeks. Yeah, due wow. Fifth, but I uh, think it may even be sooner, so... Wow, perfect, well, perfect phone call. Congratulations, <laughs> good timing on my part. Thank you, oh, definitely. <laughs> I just always pray for you that you had a good life and that you understood and forgave us for giving you up. And oh, yeah, well, it's not even forgiving you for giving me up. It's, like, really thanking you. But yeah, great. I'm glad I did this for sure. Yeah, have a good night. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> so they were very happy to hear from me. And I have a sibling on the way. My... I guess my, my birth parents are still together from, you know, having me. So you're not just having a mom, you're having... Wow.